Flashback. I want to know my body count. 24. 11 athletes. <laughs> Woo! Five entertainers. Woo! Eight regular guys. Woo! The worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> End of flashback. Wow. Uh, leaving me incredibly uncertain in just about every area in my life. I have no idea where I'm going to live <laughs> or how I'm going to provide for my son. I've outgrown where I am. The facade is fading, alhamdulillah. Mm. And I'm at a place where I don't want anything that doesn't have my name on it. And I don't want a penny more than I'm meant to have because I can do a lot with a little. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You don't know what you're doing. I'm a big Britney Runner fan. I am. I really liked her book. Uh, I think she's very talented. I think that young Britney was a beautiful woman. She's a, what most men want in the, with the hardware. Beautiful, athletic, great smile. Um, like I said, talented, played sports on a professional level. She's uh, taught herself piano. And I mean, she's... She, She's a catch. Brittany before tattoos could have easily been on a senator or a president's arm. I'm a big fan of Brittany Runner. And then you get to her mentality. And you see it. This is one of the most tragic stories amongst modern women in the US. She is a woman that could have won. And it just it blows me away. But as Malcolm X said. The chickens are coming home to roost, and hence, this is the last days of the modern woman. Let's get it. I want to know my body count. I don't know why in like 2018, that's any of your f***ing business. Shout out to Young Britain. Matters. But 24. 11 athletes. <laughs> Woo! You can recognize it so early on that they're going to go down the wrong path because they act like this. No reason to act like that. Minister Jap calls this ugly bum bee behavior. Stop acting like the ugly chicks. But this is what you decided to do. Five entertainers. Woo! Eight regular guys. Woo! I've only three regular guys since I've been Instagram famous because Listen to that mouth. I don't run your mouth too much. I don't want to be sending you a video one minute, the next minute. I see me spread eagle on the timeline, playing with my in my experience, the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just an athlete. They're really done. <laughs> talk about a self-fulfilling prophecy. All that smack she talked. Got pregnant by P.J. Washington. Had his son. I know that they were, they planned it and all that stuff. And I believe her when she said they planned it. And, uh, but didn't work out so great. And I'm not celebrating you losing the relationship, but I do believe that you should have tried everything you could to make that work. Let's go. <laughs> I don't like talking about my history with men I'm dating, I guess until now, because most of the guys that I've dealt with are gonna have more money than you. Every you option in the world. Way about it. I know the male ego is fragile, like the ball sack that hangs in between your legs. In conclusion, like I don't even look at people as like trashy or not. It all comes down to mentality for me. Man, oh man, oh man. Y'all remember that, right? Drop me a five if you remember that. You remember young Britney, right? So I appreciate her social media presence so much because we literally are documenting. She's, she's literally documenting for us the entire life cycle of this independent woman. Damn, that broad could have won. She could have won. She could have had anybody. Anybody. Mindset was terrible. So that was 20 something, Brittany. Check out 30 something, Brittany. First of all, 
Allahu Akbar. I've gone through a lot of changes internally. And as a result, my outer world has completely <laughs> crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Woo! Wow. Shout out to the hijab woo. Woo! I had to steal that. Uh, this is what is known as a cognitive break. I honestly don't believe Britney is okay mentally. I really don't. Um, she literally just said her whole world is crumbling. Listen to this. Like she's laughing it off. This is the, the definition of laughing to keep from crying. All right. So young Brittany. In between your legs. In conclusion. Like I don't even look at people as like trashy or not. It all comes down to mentality for me. First of all, Allahu Akbar. I've gone through a lot of changes internally, and as a result, my outer world has completely <laughs> crumbled. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Woo! Wow! Woo! Uh, leaving me incredibly uncertain in just about every area in my life. I have no idea where I'm going to live. <laughs> Didn't I say? that more and more of these women are facing homelessness or how I'm going to provide for my son but Allah has moved mountains for me and I yo okay <laughs> Brittany Renner does not know where she's gonna live and take care of her son. Brittany Renner has dated and slept with more millionaires than most people have ever met. Brittany Renner has a son by a multi-millionaire athlete. She has an Instagram following of like 4.6 million people. The ultimate fumble is where she is at now and as a follower of christian uh, of, of christianity as a follower of jesus christ uh uh all respect to to allah and the followers of allah but i know in my faith there's a, a story of you ever heard the story of the uh the person in the middle of the lake right and they're drowning you know or they're they're in the middle of the ocean they're drowning and you know uh, somebody comes up with a, with a rowboat and says, hey, you know, come on, get in the rowboat. And the person's like, no, nah, I'm waiting for Jesus to save me, you know. And then uh, somebody comes up in the tugboat and like, come on, get in the tugboat. I can help you out. No, nah, I'm waiting for Jesus to save me. I'm waiting for Jesus to save me. You know, and then you got the, the cruise liner come by and they run. They throw the big orange life preserver at you. And they're like, no, no, I'm waiting for Jesus to save me. And ultimately, the person drowns and then they go to uh judgment day and there there's jesus god and everybody and he's like hey why didn't you come save me god and he was like i sent three boats for you Brittany, how many chances have you had to get out the game you just said in the previous young britney car video and isn't it crazy she's still shooting car videos yo Bruh, all these opportunities, all these podcasts, uh, all, everything that you have done, and you end up right back where you are, where you were in your 20s. When you were talking ish about, I've only dated or slept with three regular guys because they are uh, the last guy I messed with probably has more money than you do. That's crazy. And look at you now. And I don't want to beat up on her. I don't want to dunk on her. I am a Britney Renner fan. I'm a fan of her. I'm not what she does. But I like her book and I think she's talented. I think she's talented. And I'll tell you this. She. Uh, ultimate fumble. 
this young lady could have been America's sweetheart. But this is what happens, ladies, when you try to be independent, when you're not willing to be under the authority of somebody. If you've been through therapy, Brittany, your therapist is terrible. Because there are so many people that I'm certain have tried to tell you, yo, don't go down this path. And what is Brittany, 31, 32? It's, it's a sad state of events. You are in the position that your father's husband is a millionaire and you're worried about how to take care of yours and his son. That's crazy. Crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. Wow. Uh, we've been incredibly uncertain in just about every area in my life. I have no idea where I'm going to live <laughs> or how I'm going to provide for my son. But Allah has moved mountains for me and I trust that this will be no different. I feel like Alice when she ate the cookie and her feet went through the windows and she's crammed in the house like that. I'm outgrown where I am. The facade is fading, alhamdulillah. Mm. And I'm at a place where I don't want anything that doesn't have my name on it. You're Take it away. You're not going to get anything that doesn't have your name on it. I'm being mean. It's the truth. So I'm glad we're aligned on that because you're not going to get it. It served no purpose here. And I don't want a penny more than I'm meant to have because I can do a lot with a little. The facade is fading. The facade is fading. And when the facade fades and all the BS is cleared out, it makes room for what has always been for you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I am so curious to see how this story is going to end with her. But that's where that hyper independence leads. When it's all said and done, you're on an island by yourself and there's nobody there willing to help. When you've burned every bridge, when you have destroyed your reputation, when you will not listen to anyone whatsoever. Your options are limited when it's crisis time and we all have it this sounds crazy and i know i'm about to lose my player card for saying this i feel bad for Brittany runner let me let me explain why let me explain why i believe she finally realizes that she literally had the entire world at her fingertips that woman could have made any reality pretty much possible anywhere. Yes, I'm putting myself in jail. Jail! And to look up and realize, and see, here's one thing Brittany is not, she's not dumb. She's not a dumb woman. She knows, I mean, she knows she effed this up. She knows it, y'all. She knows, man. And she's uh, in the position now. She will, I don't like using the word never, but she will never get that back. I remember having this conversation, trying to add this conversation. Well, actually don't, don't, don't do this unless you are ready to piss a woman off. I'm gonna tell you right now, the most valuable thing a woman has is her youth. Everything that the world, that men, that society deems valuable is tied to her youth, her virginity, her chasteness, fertility, all tied to her youth. And it's so valuable. Young women, I'm talking about young adult women, not young girls, young women. Don't try to twist it up on El Guapo. Don't try to outthink me all you trolls out here. But young women, their their skin is dewy and they're vibrant and full of life and their hair is shiny and they're smiling and all that stuff. But once that sh is gone, it is gone, yo. And you will never get it back. And Brittany had it at a level that most women can never even imagine. 
that woman is literally genetically superior to most women for real her physique her athleticism the the booty cheeks all that her teeth her natural hair is beautiful Brittany is a gorgeous gorgeous woman and she effed it all the way up yo all the way up and to look at it now and see that she had a decade that maybe one out of 10,000 women experienced not even that with the amount of uh, guys that high high earning guys she was able to get with maybe one out of every million women get to experience and she has nothing to show for it nothing to show no wonder she's losing it yo i do feel bad for her. i feel bad for her. i would i would not save her but i feel bad for her because i know the emotional turmoil the turmoil she's probably going through this is yeah sneak 623 said it perfectly it is one of the most epic bag fumbles in history when it comes to like this this woman thing like you really messed this up did wasn't she dating Shaq for a minute yo you really messed this up yo and I'll be honest with you I don't want to see ladies go through this I'd like to see y'all partnered up and married you know um there are plenty of self-professed regular guys out here that would like a nice feminine beautiful woman 